Hi class, I'm here with Safta and behind me Lucy to give you some sense of what is expected from you in your first essay. Essay number one about Othello. So this is a hundred point essay, three to five pages, normal font, meaning Times New Roman, 12 point, and one inch margins. So it's divided into parts. So remember, writing is process and we're building up to the final draft. We're not starting with the final draft. So in the process, we begin with free writing, which you've done multiple times, brainstorming, which you've done by creating the lists in your notebooks, and then cluster diagram, and that's due before your essay is due according to the schedule. So you have a cluster diagram due, a, an informal outline due with the thesis statement, a formal outline due with a thesis statement, of course, and the thesis statement can be refined. I don't often start with where I end up with my thesis statement. Please keep that in mind. And then your essay number one is due at the end of that process. On the instructions for essay number one, which you will find either in assignments or in week five of Othello uh, content in the class, you will find uh, resources. So there's a four minute plot summary. There's the Folger Shakespeare li Library, which also gives summaries of acts. And then there's the entire audio of the play that's on the syllabus and also on this essay number one uh, information sheet. Bottom line, essay number one, is your original writing. So it needs to sound like you. If your writing is different than the way you sound in your posts in the class, that's a red flag to me that the writing came from someone else. Please do your own writing. Sound like yourself. I want you to sound like who you are, not some scholar of Shakespeare or some half-baked scholar of Shakespeare for that matter. But you, who are you, comes out in the words that you use. And I want to hear you, the posts in the class that hands down are the most interesting to me, are the ones in which I can visualize who you are by the way that you're talking in the post. Who you really are comes through. And that should be, your writing should be similar not that we don't improve, of course we improve, but your writing, your voice should be similar to how you introduce yourself to the class at the beginning, how you've commented in the class throughout, and it should sound, again, like you. The worst kind of writing is canned writing that sounds like it could be on Wikipedia page by anybody. Let's get to our own ideas. This is not meant to be a exercise in perfection. Lots of people get A's that aren't perfect in their writing. Of course, I'm taking you where you are right now, right? Where you stand in your ability to write and to read, both of which are being challenged by Othello. Secondly is in this essay, I'm asking you to stay close to the text and the language of the play. You have a written list of topics that you've created and that I've helped you at least think about what you can add to it. Um, besides jealousy, besides manipulation, one person started talking about race. Good. What else are we leaving out? You have a written list of topics, a list of words that pertain to the play and can at any time you can add to them while keeping a multidisciplinary and language centered approach. You're to focus on the character in the play that you wrote about in your character exploration exercise in week four and connect your character to one of the topics on your list and to use a well thought out thesis statement about your character and your topic to discuss how the language in the main quote tis a pageant to keep us in false gaze relates to five additional quotes from the ones provided on the instructions for the assignment. So let me give you an example. 
you were all talking about jealousy, which made me think a lot more about jealousy, and I've been sort of following that through the play, of course. I came to a sudden epiphany that Othello acts the way he does because he has not had consummation of his marriage with his wife. And so this sexual non-consummation has combined with his lack sometimes of self-confidence to make him irrational, make him believe Iago, make him disbelieve his wife. And as we all know from watching the news, made him enraged enough to commit murder. So my thesis is the lack of sexual consummation with the woman he desires most leads to Othello's mental break that causes death and destruction in the play. That's my working thesis, okay? I wrote it this morning. That working thesis will probably get better as I work on my first draft. Close reading skills are what I am grading you on in this paper. Along with your ability to write a thesis, to argue that thesis and prove it with the quotes. And these quotes that I've chosen, there are 12 of them in addition to the tis a pageant to keep us in false gaze quote. Okay, so of the 12, you are to choose five. These quotes are meant to be bendable, that they can apply to many different characters in many different situations, many different thesis statements. Okay, so, but you're quoting from the play and discussing the quote the way that I've talked about close reading in the videos. So for instance, tis a pageant to keep us in false gaze. A pageant uh, in relation to what I'm talking about in my essay is the pageantry or the, the steps towards sexual, physical union with a married partner, like this pageant, this scenario that people go through that we see Othello going through in part because it's been described to us throughout the play, especially in Act 1, Scene 3, when Othello is brought before the Duke and Othello is telling the Duke and others, including Desdemona, who's there, uh, what the, the steps he took in his life. He had been a slave. He had done all of this age of romance kind of chivalry and become a great warrior and a great hero. And he had, he had uh, brought himself up from the bottom of slavery to being a great general. And all of that was in part how Desdemona fell in love with him. And so these steps, one by one by one, are what has been the pageantry of sexual advancement between Othello and Desdemona, but it's always deferred. So at first he has to go off to war, and that on his wedding night, so he's taking a ship to Cyprus, in separate ships from Desdemona and Iago and Amelia, right? And then um, in various places throughout the play, just as they're going to bed together, they something happens, like the musicians below the window are bothering them, and Othello has to go out and stop them. Many instances like that. So that's what my paper is going to be about, but I'm going to stick to the language. What does pageant mean in my estimation, in my argument? What does false gaze mean? So I have to think these things through is my point. Okay, so please look over the quotes and you're, you're choosing um, the quotes that I have discussed as well as adding. So I'm expecting you to add your own quotes too, as I've done on my cluster diagram. Um, so five additional quotes from the ones provided below to support your thesis and 
You're, require, you're not required to use the entire quote from those included below. You may select lines that best suit your purposes. So, three to five pages. And I'm thinking it's probably better to go towards the five-page limit since there's, it's, it, the play is very complicated and my argument about Othello, in my case, is very complicated and I need to prove it. Now, often to prove it, we go for research and find a psychology um, um, expert who, for instance, um, talks about jealousy and rage and destruction in our contemporary society, or even better yet, in Shakespeare's society. But in this paper, research is not required. That will be coming up soon. We've already started talking about it a little bit. But if I do feel so moved to find research, which seems a natural extension of the writing process to find out more, right? Um, if I do feel so moved and I do go out and find research and I do include it in my paper, I will get 10 extra points. So 10 extra credit points for that research. Okay, so there's a little bit about the first essay and I hope that helps you and reading the instructions is always a very good idea. Talk to you soon.